Ah yes, the Roland MC101. It's tiny, but it's very powerful. Don't let these four faders fool you. You can actually cram quite a few sounds in this machine, just like I did in this song. What is up, greedy guts? It's your boy Bigumami, and today I'm gonna show you a technique that will allow you to go beyond the four track limitation on the MC101 in order to create fuller, more interesting beats. First of all, we need to start with a basic beat. I've loaded up some cool samples in a drum track and I'm building a pattern that sounds like this. Moving to track two, we're gonna need some chords. And there are two ways I can go about it. You can load a sample of a chord and play it chromatically, or you can load whatever sound or presets you want and use the wonderful Chord Designer to get, you know, some chords. If you want to go deeper on Chord Designer, I have a tutorial about it right here. But I want to keep it quick, so I'm going to proceed with a sample chord today. And I did an oopsie right here, so let me fix it real quick. With drums and chords out of the way, let's move to track 3 for some bass. I'm not the fastest gun in the west, so I recorded the first half, and now I'm gonna record the rest. So now we have a neat little uh, four bar loop, which has all the right ingredients, but none of the spice. And our Big Umami Megacorp International, uh, we think that's unacceptable. So the first thing that you might want to do is to go to track four and load up a lead sound to make a melody or something, right? Well, don't. This is very important. You need to reserve track four to be your looper track. What is a looper track? Well, the MC-11 actually allows you to resample your main output into a track called looper track, looper track. Looper track. Looper track. So press track 4 and select looper. Press shift plus record to select the recording source, which is mix out. Under recording measure, we'll select 4, which is the number of the bars in our pattern. Then we go to clip, select whatever clip we want, and we start recording. have the full beat on track number four. And you might be thinking, you said that you want more tracks, uh, but you're taking up uh, track number four to basically host a duplicate of what you already have. It seems like a waste of space, no? Well, yes, but I can explain. So in the MC-101, you can actually change the sound preset for each clip. So while there is no way to change your track type, meaning drum, tone or looper, you can actually change sound on a per clip basis. That means that on the same track, you could have a clip with a piano playing chords, another clip playing a flute, for example, and maybe another clip playing some weird effects or whatever. In order to do so, we have to hold shift and press on the track number. Navigate to sound source, click, and instead of track, we'll select clip. This tells the 101 that each clip has its own unique sound. But wait, before we move on, I actually need to mention that that might actually be a bug with this feature. So after switching the sound source to clip on all three tracks, I then saved my project and then I turned off the machine. And then when I turned it back on, uh, basically all of my sounds disappeared. Uh, they all reverted to the original defaults. So uh, on track number one, uh, the drums were just uh, standard 909 drums, and on track number two and three, it was just a uh, saw wave. In fact, later on in the video, you might actually notice some differences between uh, what I recorded on looper track number four and uh, the drum sounds and bass sounds uh, coming live from uh, track number one and number three. That's because I tried to recreate the presets that I did in the previous recording, and I couldn't quite get it right. So yeah, this is 
is a bug that you should be definitely aware of. This is quite unfortunate because it is a waste of time and uh, potentially you might have to throw out an entire project because you don't remember how to, you know, recreate the presets. And I hope uh, Roland fixes it. But in the meantime, what I can say is that maybe if you want to try this technique, please select the sound source to clip as soon as you open up the project before even starting to work on it. Uh, and that might fix it. I hope. I... I don't know. Now, I think you know where I'm going with this. I have drums, chords and bass all on a looper on track 4. I can add whatever sounds I want to track 1, 2 and 3. And so I did just that. I've added some vocal chops on a drum kit on track 1, which of course is a drum type track. Track 2 is a tone track, so I added this nice synth. Track 3 is a tone track as well, so I added an organ. And this is the result. Now, the most amazing part of this is, I can select another clip on the looper track, like clip 2, and I can record whatever I just came up with. Oh, and by the way, you could also activate the master effects for some extra spice. I'm not gonna do it right here, as I wanna keep it simple today. And once that's done, track 1 can go back to playing my drums, track 2 can go back playing the chords, track 3 can play the bass, and track 4 will play all the new stuff we just recorded. So, here we go. After this, you can actually keep going with new embellishments, uh, new sounds, uh, new effects, and you can basically uh, create as many clips as you have available in your tracks, and then it's up to you how you mix and match them, and you resample them in your looper clips. So as you just saw, the only limitation here is that unfortunately you can't resample a looper track onto itself. So all the different combinations of sounds have to come from the remaining three tracks. But that's still a huge improvement on working with just four tracks. It means that instead of having four tracks, you can have essentially up to six. And if you want to use a drum track as more of a sample player, you have 16 extra voices to take advantage of, which is pretty good. Now, if you decide to reserve two tracks to be loopers, maybe track three and four, you can really get infinite combinations because you could feed looper 1 plus 2 more sounds to looper 2 and then you can use the resulting track from this plus 2 more sounds and resample it in a new clip back in looper 1. That way you can resample multiple times and possibly, you know, keep going forever but at that point I guess just get an SP4-4. Anyway, let's see what I managed to cook up using this method. But first, let me break some news for you. Okay, it's official. Big Umami Bombs Volume 2 is here. It's got more than 250 WAV files divided by instrument like uh, chords, bass, drums, etc, etc. In fact, you actually heard some of it in this very video. But that's not all. I actually also included 23 presets for Vital, which is a free synth uh, available on all platforms. So you can actually go and edit those and make your own samples out of those. So click on the link in the description box below or go to bigomami.com. Let's now celebrate with a little jam.
it for today folks so if you enjoy my work please subscribe because i want to get to 10k this year also please visit my uh, bigumami.com website and uh, here's some more uh, mc101 goodness for you if you want to keep binging please do all right see you next time